Your impact driver is now a drill and even more. And now I guess, well, it's time to throw away the drill. Have you lost your mind? Number one is size and weight. And now this is just comparing both the atomic uh, combo kit, regardless of what you know combo you get, which actually I've got both the Hercules drill and impact, but hey, Harbor Freight, why don't you have these in a combo yet? I don't know, maybe it's coming. Typically heights are usually about the same, but where you save is within the overall length. Definitely get into those tight spaces or up within those cabinets with an impact over a drill. Now something I actually like doing regardless of whether it's the drill or the impact is switching out, now this is for larger projects, switching out the larger amp out battery for a smaller one. And that's because there's a lot of weight in the battery itself. So yes, you'll be using up the battery more, but just get like two, two amp out or two amp hour batteries and then you can just switch those out on the charger and it just saves you. Now if you're like me when I picked up my first combo kit I couldn't tell the difference. Well okay I didn't know the difference and that's because I grew up with a corded Black & Decker drill. The drill was all we had. Of course, yes, you were always losing that key for the chuck. And so when I got my combo kit, I was just happy it came with a chuckless or a keyless chuck. Number two, the power that you get out of an impact driver is unreal. Now, the concept is not new. They've had, you know, pneumatic and hydraulic impacts for probably a hundred plus years. It's just taken a little while for the electric cordless ones with all the features to catch on. This is the biggest drill that Hercules puts out and I think it can do about 1200 inch pounds of torque. This is the biggest one that DeWalt has and it can do about 1600 inch pounds of torque. So just as comparison, this is the smallest 20 volt um, impact that uh, DeWalt has. It can do 1700 foot pounds, foot pounds. No, not for foot pounds. It can do 1,700 inch pounds, so it can already do more than the uh, biggest DeWalt drill can. If you bump it up to the XR, this can do 1,825 inch pounds. And then this little guy, this teeny guy, I picked it up. It's the actually the atomic compact version. So I don't know. I think they're kind of screwing themselves, calling them having a multiple atomic versions. Either way, this teeny little guy. 1825 it can do more than any of the drills and i just think that's freaking amazing Act real right 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 there. right There's still a lot of room now just so then you know as you're out shopping whatever combo kit you get well combo harbor freight doesn't have the combo kit yet but whether it's the atomic or xr the impact can typically do about twice as much as your drill number three up until just recently, drills were the only ones that gave you adjustable chucks. I don't know why that one's so loud. Hercules, way to go. This sucker is nice and quiet. Either way, adjustable clutches on drills. That's kind of what you had. Well, and as mentioned, Impacts did not have that up until recently, and now most everyone either comes with three or four adjustable settings. People will say, hey, these adjustments only adjust the speed. You know, listening to number one versus number three. Yeah, the speed is a huge thing, but that translates into how much torque you're able to output. And that's because just imagine you're getting that much more speed, so that much higher of an impact on those plates together, creating more torque. Even though your drill has 15 settings or what does this got 13 on the Hercules and the impacts only got three it's sufficient enough now you're gonna have the woodworker that says hey we need that extra fine precision for every screw and for you hey I'm not twisting your arm keep using your drill now hear me out if you got an adjustable speed trigger which all of them do meaning that the more you depress the trigger, the faster it goes. Why even have the speed setting at all? I want you to take note, but it's not a number on my list. The light location for drills is always down here at the bottom. 
And then on the impacts, you've got nice three LEDs always up top on the head. Uh, you can see so much better with these LEDs and this is really just kind of like a flashlight. You kind of pull the trigger just to see where you're at. And so just the light location, I mean, I get it. You know, you can't really have them up here on your chuck as you're moving it around. So it makes sense, but just saying. Number four, safety. Now, have you ever noticed that impacts, none of them have the extra handle? First of all, this is a safety handle. So then it just doesn't rip your wrist out of the way, which sadly I've done on more than one occasion when you're, you know, trying to drill a big old hole through a couple studs and you just got the, pretty much it on the drill setting or maxed out and yeah, it twists your wrist. It hurts. I've done it too many times. Well, with the impact, you don't even have to worry about that. It kind of has a built-in safety feature and that's just because those plates, once they hit kind of the max torque, they're just gonna slip on each other and they're not gonna create any more. So it's a sweet built-in safety feature that you get with impacts that drills you don't. <laughs> Number five is speed. Now it's not that big of a deal to have to open up the chuck, put your bit in, close it, and that is until you have a job with multiple attachments or bits. And these quarter inch little hex collets make it that much simpler and easy to do. Also nice that the quarter inch hex collets are standard across the board. So any of these impacts, regardless of the brand, they just slip right in and once in, they are locked in place. I've never had one just fall out and they come out just as easy. Now, sometimes when you are just going to town on some lug nuts or some bolts, I actually have had some of these bits that are kind of hard to pull out. Super easy trick for you. Just put it in reverse. Just give it one or two just impacts. That's it. And then they always just come right out. The awesome part with the quarter inch hex shank is they are coming out with whatever kind of bit or attachment you need for it. Whether it be a screw or even a drill bit. Now to play devil's advocate of, hey, the great thing about the chuck is you can really put any size drill bit in there. And if you take note, most um, shanked drill bits uh, don't really come in, you know, down to a 64th of an inch. And someone was thinking of you because you can get now a quarter inch hex attachment for your impact driver. So allows you to put any size drill bit all the way down to, you know what, even a 64th of an inch. Now this next point, it actually has like three points to it. One of them ties back to safety and we're talking about drill bits. And I know everyone as everyone's done this. As you got your drill, they're kind of just flopping in there, and you kind of have to hold the flutes ever so slightly as you tighten up the chuck. Half the time I twist it up and then it's you know not concentric and, and then you gotta undo it and slowly go back in, you know, either way, for not only speed but then safety, and it's concentric every time. Now you may notice that some impacts actually do have a different type of head. These are socket heads, typically for larger, this is my pneumatic one, and they do have that for the electric cordless versions as well. But I would say, hey, you know, if, if you're in the shop and gonna be doing the heavy duty stuff nonstop, that's great with sockets. But for everyone else, just get the quarter inch hex and that's because you can get socket adapters with these. Now, if you are wanting to use your impact for indeed heavy duty impact type situations, make sure that the sockets or adapters are impact rated. So does all this mean I am throwing out my drills? And that would be no. And that's because even though the impacts can do everything a drill can do, it doesn't necessarily mean each task they can do it better. Like, subscribe. We'll see you next time.